Hello, I'm Chris from Excalibur Publishing, and today I'm pleased to show you European Bus Simulator for the PC on the 1st of June 2012. As you can see here, we can select whether we want to go through beginner mode or expert mode. Beginner is a more casual approach where accidents are much more forgivable and some of the systems are actually disabled, so it's a great place to start. But as this is just the introduction, let's choose beginner. And we'll set the date to March. Now let's ignore the bus for now, we got to check out the timetable. As you can see, we're in a German city. Let's click on one of the timetables and we can see the route. If we select one, we can see the times of arrival and most importantly, at the top we can see the route number and the service number. It will be handy to make a note of these as we'll need to enter them in later. Now we can get aboard the bus. All the buses that you have access to you can explore the innards of. At the moment there is a distinct lack of passengers, so we'll have to sort that out pretty soon. Now onto the driver's seat. While in beginner mode you'll see the startup checklist on the far left. This can be turned off, but only when you have perfected the startup procedure. Once we activate the ignition and the onboard power, we can also adjust our seats. This means that you'll be able to get yourself into a position that will suit you. We'll then need to enter our driver ID and password. At the beginning of the game, these will be issued to you, but if you forget them, you can just hit the F1 key, click on your profile, and they'll be on the top right of the screen. Once you enter these in, you'll need to enter in the service number and the route number that we got from the timetable earlier. It will ask you about the direction, click enter, and it will display the best route to get to the first bus stop on the map. We're nearly all set to go, we just need to go through to stage 2 of the initialization procedure and then start the engine. The bus won't drive off with an open door, so let's close that. Now, this is where the controls change slightly. We need to change our gear. In order to do so, we need to hold the brake key and the gear up key. Releasing the handbrake is also a two button combination. Once these are set, you're good to go. Just accelerate and make your way towards the first bus stop. I miss my turn while driving, the dangerous way to get back on track would be to do a U-turn, however, we'll open up the map and see if there's any way to get back on track. The map includes at the moment two lines, the yellow one is the route of the current schedule, the red one directs me from the bus garage to the first bus stop, but we can also make a third one, a green line that can be placed anywhere on the map. We just want to get back to the red line, so if we click here, a green line would direct us back on track. Once we've reached the first bus stop, it's time to let the passengers in and charge them for their fare. Look out for part 2 where we'll tell you how to charge customers for fares. The game is out for PC on the 1st of June 2012.